bipolar mother nature up here. And the gasket left the chat. So, that last one. Let the suffering begin. Alright folks, welcome back to another video. So last time I was working on the pony motor and the camera died. Uh, we're having magneto problems. I have a spare magneto in the shop that I got uh, fixed up and working. So for this video I am going to try and replace that magneto but it does not look fun to get at at all. Mostly because there's bolts hidden down underneath here. That I just have to hope upon hope come out. I'll just put some panther piss on everything. And then hope for the best. Let's see if I can find a spot to set you guys up. An air cleaner must go first. At least this time my fingers ain't freezing within 10 minutes of being outside. Bipolar mother nature up here. Okay. One more bolt. Suffering begin. I really don't know which one of the two is going to be harder to get at. Hopefully they're not tighter than all hell. Uh, nope. Okay. It's moving. We're in business, I think. Compact tractors, they really. Whoever designed these things thought building chips in a bottle was easy. By the size of access they give you for stuff. For some reason, when it's warm out like this, not nearly as salty. Just wait till I pinch my first finger. We'll get some salty moments happening, I'm sure. So what these are is they're where the pony motor exhaust runs through a tube inside the diesel intake so that as the uh, exhaust heats up, it heats up the intake air for the diesel. It's like a grid heater, but different. Let's not break that gasket, please. There we go. Air intake is off. All right, starting to be able to see the magneto now pretty good here on the pony. Uh, I wonder if I can cheat the game. No, we have hydraulic lines. So I'm probably gonna have to take this off and the top of the carburetor to get to that. But First off, we gotta set this thing up right. So down here, there's a plug. And you take that pipe plug out. Hopefully it wants to cooperate. Where'd that be? That was spray. Oh well, we'll just, we'll just give her all the way. It's not wanting to cooperate. That's where our timing mark is for the pony motor magneto. Let's put this thing. Let's put 
put some of this down there just for extra credit. Move up that exhaust valve. Plug is out. Man, there's so many nuts and bolts on these little pony motors that are difficult to get to. It's a cool concept though. I've often thought about taking like a uh, water cold four wheeler engine, a Honda or something and uh, adapting it to fit where this pony motor does so that you can have uh, fuel injection and all all that fancy stuff would really make this awesome have that but I haven't done it because these pony motors work just as cat intended which is just good enough to make you use it. Okay guys, we're back. The camera is charged a little bit. Uh, got the old mag off in the meantime. This coil was just shorting out like lightning when I was playing with it last time. <clears throat> got the other mag fitted. Just got to tighten her up. And uh, that carburetor's nasty, but I have a spare one. I broke this off of it while I was trying to get the crankcase vent pipe put on there. Or taken off so I can get the mag out. We'll tighten this thing up here. And I'll probably spin the engine over with the starter and see if it's sparking now. I have a video of uh, bench testing this mag I will drop in here. Should be coming up right about now. Got this spare mag here. Decided to clean the points up and see if she worked. It makes spark at impressingly slow speed. Frame rate of the camera is messing it up so you can't. Safe to say that mag works. Okay, well you guys are watching that video. Done got this mag all tightened up. We'll just snug it up. Pipe threads don't need to be tighter than your mouth after biting a lemon. You know, they just need to be a little snug. Like grapefruit you know all right folks what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give her some ether down that old carb and we have spark now it's not the greatest I don't know why that mag was great on the bench and I'm gonna eat this thing and spin the shit out of it and see if we can get a pop. Alright guys, I've kind of run out of time to continue playing with this today. So, thanks for watching. I'll be back with a part three of Pony Motor on the D47U. And I'm gonna put this all back together uh, just off camera and I don't have the time to deal with the camera stuff today. So we'll see you next time.